Hey YouTube, so um, I went to JNR today and I got myself a new hard drive, um, the Samsung Solid State um, 830 series hard drive. Um, right now I've been finding out that my Mac was really slow so I figured I'd upgrade it to the new um, Solid State drives that are out there. Lately the price has been dropping pretty well so I figure um, it's pretty not bad price, um, 256 gigabytes for around what was it 250 dollars so it's like around um, a buck a gig so i got to that jnr so i'm gonna unbox it but and i'm gonna install it into my macbook pro so first thing i'm gonna do is um i have one of these uh you can't really see it these uh black x thing you can put the hard drive in here and then i'm gonna have to clone my hard drive from the MacBook Pro into there, so that's going to take like a couple of hours. Um, so I look forward to seeing how that works. And uh, but wow, this is really really light. Um, uh, I try to unbox it maybe on cam, but I um, kind of need two hands at at, at this probably. Um, ugh, come on, I don't get it. There's this label here, and it says. I don't know if you can see it. Whoops. Focus, focus. Um, it says void if removed. I mean, really? I mean, why would you void the warranty when I opened the, opened the box of the product? That was the most dumbest thing I've ever seen. But, uh, wow, this is amazingly light. Uh, oopsie. I dropped the hard drive. <laughs> One of those things about the solid state drives is that, um, oh wow, wow, they're ridiculously light. Um, I've seen a picture of the insides of this thing online, and it's, um, it's like, a, like one or two chips in there. It looks a lot smaller than, um, uh, memory chips. So, this is a typical normal hard drives like a Western Digital Scorpio that I once got um, for my previous laptop uh, still have a lot of nice data in there and whatnot so and this is the Samsung one. Oh my god this is ridiculously thin ah, let's put them side by side do, 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 do. of course the other one has a case on it oh wow this feels like a, a flimsy toy, it's so small. I guess they just get the size just about the same, but wow, it's amazing. Okay, I look. what's going to be even more amazing is how fast my computer boots. Um, I did a timer earlier and it takes around like a minute or so for my Mac to boot and it takes forever for like half my applications to load and I've been seeing a lot of sluggers, so I think my hard drive on this thing is kind of dying. Um, this is MacBook Pro 2010. The I think the middle or early the late, the late 2010 one, so it's um, going to be fun. Hey again, so I plugged in my hard drive um, using this external adapter called the uh, Black X. It's really cool. And what I have to do now is, uh, before cloning it, I need to uh, format it. So since I'm running on Mac, I need to format it into the uh, Mac OS X Extended, which is um, under disk utility, uh, whatever that is. Um, it'll pop up a, it'll pop up a message asking if you want to initialize the drive. So yeah, so here I have uh, 256. It detected it, and here I'm just gonna have Mac OS X extended. Uh, right now it's untitled. I'm gonna like set this up and everything. And right after I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a program called um, I found online called uh, Carbon Copy Carbon Copy Cloner. So I'm going to try to do a complete carbon copy of my existing hard drive, uh, Mac HD. It'll just probably select everything in there and select the destination, which will be the, well, it doesn't exist yet. So once I partition it, I will uh, be able to select it from that list. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to copy everything over. So it might take me a couple of hours, um, hopefully not. Fortunately, I have a Mac, um, an iPad, so I can just go online and do what I need to do. Uh, probably watch some TV. It might take like two hours. Hope not. So it took me roughly two, almost three hours. I think I started, actually no, two hours or so to clone my hard drive. Um, I actually had it hooked up externally. So now what I'm about to do is I'm about to take it uh, on my 
MacBook Pro apart. I'm just about to unscrew all of these screws here and install this in there. So I'm gonna figure out. Um, I gotta find my screwdriver first to take these screws out. Yep, here I got some of the screws out already. Um, it's funny, this was the first screw I kind of took out, and the first screw I saw is one of these big ones. I was kind of shocked to see that. I um, initially thought I'd have small ones. And actually, yeah, they do have small, tiny ones. So there's just a couple here. And what I've done here was to make my life easier is um, place each screw flat right next to where they're supposed to go. So this way I know I don't lose anything and all one of these big ones that go in one of these uh, small holes or vice versa. So now I'm going to take the lid off and see how this works. Um, I need two hands for this, so anyway. So apparently Apple tried being a little slick here, um, kind of make it a little difficult to replace the hard drive. Um, so the screws over here are all pretty much the um, standard, uh, what do you call it, Phillips head. Um, and, and then here you had a special way to remove it, so you had um, some of the screw here, here, and there was this like little piece over here that I kind of removed from over here, whoops, so from over here, and then I had to like kind of remove screws here, kind of um, pop the drive out, take this, um, the connection off, and then I'll have these drives, and I realized what was holding it in place are these little screws at the end, like this, and that kind of held it in, and that's what was being locked in. Um, fortunately, with these screws, as they are not the standard Phillips head flathead, they're like these diamond um, shaped. Wow! So I ran out of space on my iPhone, which I was recording with earlier. So I've screwed in my Samsung drive. That's what I was saying before. I had to use uh, long nose pliers to remove the those screws from this oops, from this drive. Well, um, I'm going to screw everything back in, uh, put everything in place, and I'm going to boot it up. And hopefully things runs um, perfectly and fast. Alright, so I basically installed the drive and booted it up and it worked flawlessly practically. It, um, I had no problems whatsoever and in fact I actually booted up pretty uh, quick. It was um, within like 10-15 seconds boot time from the previous one one minute or so. I'm very satisfied on how snappy the performance is now with this new drive. It, um, iTunes boots up and like it's like a snap. Everything is like uh, within a snap of a finger. It's it's just incredible. Uh, I think once once you go solid state there's really no going back. Well hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave me any comments you guys have down below, and um, I'll try to include some links to where you guys can get more information about this drive, and that's it. Bye!